Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is on one of my favorite things and also one of my goals for this year, which is affirmations. So if you're interested in learning more about affirmations, specifically how you can incorporate them into your morning routine and utilize some of the advice from Hal Elrod's book, The Miracle Morning, then this video is for you. I'm Janice and you're watching Sharp Cookie. On this channel, we talk about all the things related to learning, growing, and fulfilling our fullest potential, both in mind and body. So if that's something you're interested in, I post new videos every week. So please subscribe and join our Sharp Cookie community. All right, so let's get started on one of my favorite topics and that's affirmations. Now this is part of a series of videos that I'm doing on mindset. Now I'm a tutor and a coach. I've been doing this for over five years. I have over a few thousand hours of experience. And what I've learned is that mindset is inextricably linked with learning. So the more you believe you can learn something, the more you can actually learn it. And that could be something academic, or it could be something like learning how to fix your car. It doesn't matter. Whatever it is you want to learn. I tried learning to play piano this year after a couple decades of not touching it. And it's the same process. You have to believe that you're capable of learning it for it to even open up as a possibility for you. So when I work with my students or clients, that's one of the first things that I'm looking for is what is the other person's belief system? And I analyze that by what they say and how they talk to themselves and how they deal with mistakes. So if this is something you're interested in, please watch my other videos on this mindset topic, especially the Miracle Morning Summary, where I give you the summary of the full book, okay? So affirmations is just one part of an entire morning routine. Okay, so let's get into detail about affirmation. So most of you have heard of Muhammad Ali's famous affirmation, although you might not have thought about it as an affirmation, and that's, I am the greatest. Right, he would repeat, I am the greatest, I am the greatest, even before he was the greatest at what he was doing. So he had the belief in himself, and he repeated that back to himself as an affirmation before it was reality. And that's how things go. We have to change ourselves first before they become a reality. So I hear things like, I'm bad at math all the time, or I'm a bad public speaker, or I've never been able to do this, I get nervous, or I have a terrible memory. All of these things are beliefs that you have about yourself that are limiting your potential for learning. And affirmations is the first step to overcoming these limiting beliefs. Another popular one is, I'm just a bad test taker. I can't tell you how many times I've heard one of my students say, I'm a bad test taker. Now we all have these internal dialogues and beliefs about ourselves. And they could be helping us or they could be hurting us. So the important thing is to think about what are the things that you tell yourself? Maybe you tell yourself, I'm a slow reader, or I'm, I've always been a slow learner, or I've always been mad at, bad at math. Whatever it is, really dig into your beliefs. Or it could be beliefs that are helping you, like money comes easily to me, I always get great ideas, or I am very, very creative. Whatever it is, these beliefs are constantly creating what you believe is possible and therefore they're impacting the reality of your life. So for example, if I have a student taking a big test, I give them affirmations to say weeks before the test to prepare themselves mentally to be more successful. So I'm also really curious to know, have you ever used affirmations in your own life and have they been successful for you? please share with us in the comments for me and also for everybody watching the video and in the Sharp Cookie community because we're here to really help each other. So if there's something that worked for you or didn't work for you, or maybe you've never tried affirmations and you just wanna ask a question to the group, please post below and let us know. Okay, so what I wanna share is a story from Hal Elrod's book and it was about how affirmations changed his life and I found it very inspiring 
And it also helped me buy into this idea that affirmations actually work. Because if you believe they work, then they will for you. But if you're going into this process thinking that it's dumb and it's never going to work, well, that becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Now, Hal, when he was in his early 20s, was in a very serious auto accident. He was in the hospital for many days. The doctors told him he would never walk. Well, long story short, he pretty much got back to 100% functionality. He walked, talked, everything just as he was before. But because of the brain trauma, he had a lot of issues with his memory and especially short-term memory was weak. Now, Hal himself said in the beginning, this was just a fact of brain trauma. But years had passed and he was still telling himself this old story that he had a bad memory, he had a bad memory, and every time someone asked him, hey Hal, can you remind me to pick up milk tomorrow? He would say, oh, I'm sorry, I have I had brain trauma five years ago, I I have a bad memory. So he he kept repeating that story, not only to himself, but to everybody else around him. And it got to the point where he thought to himself, do I actually have a bad memory or is this something that I've been self-perpetuating? And he decided that he was gonna do an experiment, kind of like what I would like you to try and what I do in my own life and with my own students. And that's test it out. I mean, the worst, it's free. The worst that can happen is it doesn't work. So he tried testing it out in his own life. And I'm going to repeat to you, I'm going to read it out word for word what Hal's affirmation was related to memory, because I think it can inspire you and help you create some of your own affirmations. So this is Hal's real life affirmation for memory. I let go of the limiting belief that I have a horrible memory. My brain is a miraculous organism capable of healing itself and my memory can improve, but only in proportion to how much I believe it can improve. So from this moment on, I am maintaining the unwavering belief that I have an excellent memory and it's continuing to get better every day. So to me, That was so inspiring, really. I mean, this man who's had brain trauma is trying to heal through his belief system. And he said it actually worked. After a while, when someone would ask him to remember something, instead of saying, going back to his old story, he would say, sure. And he didn't even realize he was doing it till after where he was like, oh my God, I just told that person I can remember something. I didn't repeat the old story I had before. So I thought that was really cool. And again, experiment with it in your own life. Now, here are some tips that Hal gives in his book that I think are really, really good. So let's go through the tips. Number one, it's really important to put your affirmations down in writing. So don't just keep them all in your head be thoughtful about them and write them down and make them, of course, personal to you. So you saw how detailed Hal's was around memory. You can do that about any area of your life. So health, academics, work, relationships, spirituality, all of these goals you have in your life, you can have an affirmation related to that goal. The next tip is to add emotion to what you're saying. So you don't wanna just like recite it off like you're reading a restaurant menu, okay? You have to like put some feeling into it. Feel it with your heart, feel it with your soul, visualize along with it. In my other of Hal's videos, I talk about visualization. So if you're saying I have a great memory, visualize that, feel that in yourself. So really, really tap into the emotions. What would it feel like if this came true. Now the next tip is to add some physical motion to the affirmation. Uh, This is one that I haven't tried yet, but I'm really excited to. And that's just moving while you say it. So you can walk around the room, you can jump up and down, you can do jumping jacks, you can clap, you could shout it at the top of your lungs. So many different ideas. You probably have more ideas that I'm not even thinking of. But the more you can get your body involved, the more you get, like I said, your emotions involved, the more real 
this whole thing becomes. So again, no more robot reciting like you don't feel anything. Get your body into it and get your emotions into what you're saying. The next tip is to tweak and adjust your affirmations as your life and your goals and your motivations and ideas change. So it's very common that what you're focusing on this week or this month or this year is not what you were focusing on last year, okay? Because our life circumstances change. So your affirmation should be this living, breathing thing and you should be tweaking them day to day, week to week, so that they feel more authentic to you. And the last tip is to be consistent. It's really, really important that you say your affirmations every single day. It's gonna be so tempting to skip it. It's gonna be so tempting to just say, oh, I'll do it later, I'll do it tomorrow. But do it every morning, every single morning, and give it a fair shot. Commit to 30 days, commit to 60 days, commit to the year. So make this part of your daily routine. Now, the next part of this video, I'm gonna cover five steps to creating your own affirmations. Again, this is from the Miracle Morning book, so if you want more details on the steps, you can read the book, which I'm gonna link in the description. So step number one is get clear on what you want. Now, this might seem obvious, but it's really not because our desires seem to change, and when that happens, our thinking isn't clear. So I've talked to different people and some days they want, you know, that loft in the city and then other days they want to be in a tiny home in the woods, okay? And if they're switching back and forth between these things, how can they write a really constructive affirmation? And maybe you want both of those things and that's great, but as Oprah says, think about the next right step. So think about just immediately what you need to do next and focus on an affirmation on that immediate next step. So get clear on what you want and then get clear on what needs to be done immediately next so that you can frame a affirmation around that. Step two of the five step process is think about your why. So now that you're clear on the things you want, you have to think about why you want those things <laughs> and get really, really, direct in your mind what that means for you. So one of my goals for this year was I wanted to communicate to a larger audience. I felt that I got to the point where I was a really good teacher and coach, where I was implementing this stuff in my own life, I was helping others, but I wasn't reaching as many people as I wanted to reach. And that's what motivated me to start the YouTube channel. So get clear on why you want to do something. I had this desire to communicate and teach with more people. That was my why. And then YouTube was the form that it's taking right now. So think about why you want to study biology. Think about why you want to pursue another certain career that you're pursuing. Why do you want to be successful in a presentation? Why do you want 25 more clients? What is that deepest motivation for you? Usually it has to do, now this isn't anything in the book. This is something that I've discovered on my own. It usually has to do with fulfilling some type of potential for yourself. When you really dig through those different layers in your life, it comes down to, at the very core of it, you as a human being trying to reach your fullest potential and your fullest expression of yourself. So when you get down to the why, think about what that is for you. That brings us to step three. Step three is all about action and thinking about what changes you have to make in yourself to bring about what you wanna bring into your life. So this step is so important, it's all about action. So we'll go back to my own life with the example of my desire to teach and communicate with more people, reach a bigger audience all over the world, and what that means for me. If I want to do that, then I have to implement what I teach in my own life. So everything I do, everything I teach is aligned with what I truly believe and aligned with what I practice. So that saying, practice what you preach, 
That's what I do in my own life, which means I do Miracle Morning every day. That means getting up early. That means following the affirmations, the sitting, the exercise. Um, again, the full program is in a separate video, but I follow the full program every day because how can I be an authentic teacher? How can I fulfill my full potential if I'm not doing what I teach? So think about what it is for you. What changes do you have to make as a person to bring in these new things into your life? Now, step four brings us even deeper, which is what specifically do I need to do? So get even more granular. So I gave you the example of the miracle morning, but get more specific. So how long are you going to exercise for? How long are you going to sit for? Um, for me with the YouTube videos, again, commit. Okay, I'm going to make one video a week or one video every two weeks. Whatever it is, put a number around it. Put a time frame around it. If you want to change your health and the way you feel about your body, figure something out that's realistic for you. So maybe, I mean, for me, it's I'm committed to practicing yoga at least four times a week for a minimum of 20 minutes. So think about what that looks like in your own life. What are you ready to commit to? Write that down and then you can include it into your affirmation. And the last step is actually a really fun one that he recommends, which is compile some quotes and inspirational readings related to your affirmations. And I love this because I like to collect quotes anyway and I find them really inspiring. And usually at different parts of my life, I connect to different quotes. So right now, the one that's really resonating with me is by Thich Nhat Hanh. And this one's one of my favorites. He said, there is no way to happiness. Happiness is the way. So that's something that I've been thinking about a lot is like, how can I bring joy to everything that I'm doing so that it's not this goal I need to reach, but just a daily practice. How do I bring joy to my videos? How do I bring joy to my teaching and my coaching? All right, so thanks for sticking with me this long. You made it through all of the steps, and now we're gonna get to actual affirmations. So I'm gonna read to you a few from different types of categories that I personally like, and I've used many of these. Feel free to use them yourself to get started tomorrow, and you can even tweak them or add on to them to make them fit your personal situation. Okay, let's go. The first category is money. I'm only gonna give you a few for each category. Here we go. Money comes to me easily and effortlessly. I constantly attract opportunities that create more money. I am worthy of making more money. Next one is love and relationships. I am full of positive, loving energy. I deserve love and I get it in abundance. I am blessed with an incredible family and wonderful friends. I give out love and it is returned to me multiplied and many fold. This is for myself. I am in the process of becoming the best version of myself. I choose to be kind to myself and love myself unconditionally. I am more than enough. Next category is health. I am full of energy and vitality and my mind is calm and peaceful. Every day I am getting healthier and stronger. I honor my body by trusting the signals that it sends me. And then the last category is happiness. I am grateful to be alive. It is my joy and pleasure to live another day. Being joyful comes easily to me. Good things are happening. All right, guys, that's it for today. That's my video on affirmations. If you enjoyed it, please give me a like. Also, send it to your friends if you found it valuable and helpful. And of course, watch the other videos like I talked about in this whole series I'm doing on mindset. So please subscribe to Sharp Cookie. I post new videos every week. I have a link in my 
description to my Facebook group called Sharp Cookie Community. So if you're on Facebook, find us, join us there, and we can continue the conversation. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one virtual coaching or tutoring, you can email me at hellosharpcookie at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm Janice. I really appreciate your time and your attention. Have a great day. Take care.